Hi again. Uh, here we are to continue our discussion of UI Bezier path. And in the last um, video, we created a simple circle and we drew it on the screen, right? So uh, what else can we do with this? Let's play with a couple of the properties of Bezier path. And um, let's take a look at our code again. So here's our code over here. You know, we've drawn a path within, you know, a rectangle here within the bounds. And we've given it a line width of 10. So that's 10 points. That's the stroke width. I don't know why they didn't call it stroke width because they called this stroke color, but but it's line width. And then we, we set the stroke color to uh, to red. Now we saw the fill color was black, right? So um, that's probably <clears throat> okay for some circumstances, but in other circumstances, this might be a problem. So you can set the, the fill color to anything you like. Let's do shape layer dot fill color is UI color. Um, let's do uh, yellow, right? CG color, right? So we could do that and uh, give it a quick test. Yeah, so now we got a yellow fill. If you don't want to do any fill at all, but you can do uh, fill color is clear color, right? And so now, um, now that the center of the circle will just be transparent. Right, there we go. So that's kind of good. Um, what else can you do? Well, there's a few interesting properties here, right? One of the properties is, um, oops, let me spell that right, shape layer dot stroke end. Okay, so stroke end determines where the stroke ends. So if we put a one here, the stroke goes from the beginning of the path all the way to the end of the path. If I put 0.5 here, the stroke um, begins at the beginning of the path and then goes 50% around the length of the path, however long the path is, right? Let's give it a try. Oh, there we go. So that's like a smile there, right? Um, so it's hard to tell here, but the stroke is beginning right here and then drawing 50% along the path to this point, okay? Let's do another one, right? What if we make this, you know, 0.25, right? We can just prove my last point, right? So um, now it should only go a quarter of the way around. And then we can see that it starts here and then it ends 25% around the entire circle, right? So that's pretty interesting, right? What if we change this? Let's change this to, um, how about point, um, 0.375, I don't know, right? Okay. So now our, our stroke should go a little past the quarter. It should be like halfway between a quarter and a half, so about here, right? So what if I wanted to bring this point down to here and have the circle kind of start right here and create kind of a smile, right? Okay, so um, we're using the stroke end here, right? There's also another property called, um, and I'll go to shape layer dot stroke start. Okay, so start determines where we begin drawing, right? So if I begin drawing at, you know, point, uh, one, two, five, that should be about an eighth of the way around the circle. So we're going to start an eighth of the way in and then go to, what's that, like three eighths. Oh, so there we go. So now we, we, we would have started here, but we told the start to start drawing um, about 12.5% along the route and told it to end or stop drawing, end the drawing at, you know, 37% of the way, okay? So anyway, so stroke end and stroke start, and these two properties can also be animated to create an animated effect where we draw and, you know, the line is an animation, right? So we'll do that as a last example here. Um, I'm gonna remove these two properties just for the moment and then we'll do a quick animation of this. Um, and you can animate this in a lot of ways. I'm just gonna use um, CA basic animation. So we'll say let um, A for animation, I know I should probably use a better name, um, equals CA basic animation. And what we'll do is we'll animate 
the key path here, and the key path that we're going to animate is um, stroke end. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll say a dot um, from value, right? And we'll start from a value of zero, and then we'll say a to value, and we want to go to a value of one, and then we'll say a dot duration equals let's say you know three seconds. And then we'll say uh, shape layer dot add. Oops, I gotta put a dot there, add. And then what I wanna do is I wanna choose this one, add animation. So this requires a CA animation for key, right? And our animation is just called A, that's this guy right here. And then for this, we can actually just put nil, okay? So um, we'll say uh, run. And then here we go. Oh, there's our drawing, right? So, um, so that's a quick, simple example of using, um, you know, some of the other properties of UI Bezier Path.